I'm in the studio today and we are starting a new series inspired by my book, The Art of Home. We will be sharing a lot of education and tips and how to's this coming year, starting with the art of bed styling. But we want to hear from you. What do you want to see from us in 2024? Comment below. Whether you're a minimalist or a maximalist or somewhere in between, these tips will guide you regardless of your style. The first step is starting with your sheeting. So we've got the fitted sheet and the flat sheet. This is our Clausen tensile sheet. And I love the hand feel of these. They are very soft to the touch and really work all year round. But there are so many options. You've got linens, you have percale, you have um, different textures kind of give different looks. So percale is gonna give you that crisp look, but it also gets um, wrinkly faster out of the dryer. Linen, it wrinkles, but it kind of looks like it's intentionally supposed to be that way. And since it's a natural fiber, it kind of um, gives you this like heat and cooling effect. It's more temperature regulating. But that's how we're here to start the bed. And then we're gonna build the layer. So I have some duvet options all ready for us. I have a quilt here. When you're building a bed, you need to know one, how you like to sleep, but also the environment that you're in. So here in Utah, a layered bed totally works. I'm gonna show you how to do a quilt in your bed look two different ways. So one would be putting it underneath the duvet. So we'll go like this, tuck it in. Might bring this up a little bit more actually so you can see it. I'm bringing it up this far so that when I fold my duvet, I get a little sliver of this quilt pattern showing. I love the pattern and color palette of this, but you could go solid, you could go stripe, so many options. This is our Hendrix duvet. The rust color on this duvet is really beautiful. Why am I turning this this way? When I am doing my duvet covers, I'm gonna pull it so you get the reveal of the bed frame and then you get to see kind of some drape around the edges. And then you can just do a fold in half, but I prefer to fold back and then back again. So I'll fold it this way and then back so that I get like this extra fluffy band across the bed. And would you ever style a bed without a duvet? I mean, I always use a duvet personally because I like the fluffiness that it adds and it's cozy to sleep with. However, if you really wanted to, you could just do a coverlet, but you need to know that it's gonna look very flat on your bed. And for me, a luxurious bed has layers and some of that down fluffiness like really adds to the look. So this is one way to place your quilt. Um, I'm gonna show you what it would look like on top here too. Might pull this up just a little bit. So the reason I would go this direction. I style beds both ways. This is all about the pattern, right? So you're just choosing what's a focus here. So other way is more about saturated color and we're speaking to um, kind of this bold moment with the rust. But here it's all about the pattern and the color of the quilt. So go either way. In this look, I'm gonna actually put this back because I'm gonna add a throw. I'm gonna add yet another layer. This and 
Okay, so I am going to, I'm gonna add some pillows. So we have sleeping and decorative pillows that we'll be working with. So I have two sleeping pillows and then two shams. Make sure that you're buying shams that fit the size of your bed. Mostly just, if you have a full or a queen, you're going with a standard sham, and if you have a king, go with a king size sham. So it fills the length of the bed. Depending on the look, sometimes I prop my pillows up like this. Sometimes I go like this. In this look, I am preferring the rust facing forward, so it's more of a statement with the color. I would choose a stack if my sham was like a closer match in color to my pillowcase back here. I think that that look is a bit more um, streamlined, contemporary, kind of that hotel bedding look to do the stack. Depending on a client's style, like this bed could be complete. I think that once you finish things off with a sham, a quilt, and a duvet, you've got nice sheeting. It's a very simple look, but it is finished. But these next steps are the layers that add a bit more interest, and if you're going for that look of things that feel a bit more collected, we'll add the decorative pillows and then a throw at the end. There's lots of questions about how many is too many, and I think that answer is a personal one. I tend to like odd groupings, so three or five pillows. Okay, so I'm really using this quilt pattern to create a color scheme with my pillows. I have the rust tones, I have some blues and some browns in this floral, and you'll see that incorporated into this color scheme. We're going a bit maximal with our pillows today, so we're gonna do two big, two medium, and then one lumbar. I think that if I wasn't going as maximal, you could easily just end here if you wanted. And then one last step. I love a drapey throw at the end of a bed. You can do one that just kind of goes over the corner, but I prefer a throw that goes over the end of the bed and drapes on both sides. But both work. This one's great because it's reversible. So I have the oatmeal on one side and then the cream on the other. I like the oatmeal today because it kind of ties in with what's happening in these pillows. With my duvet and my quilts and even my pillows, I like to place them in a way that feels um, pretty structured. But when I place my throw at the end of the bed, I want some wrinkle and I want it to feel relaxed because it's that last finishing layer that makes your bed and therefore your room feel like you wanna live there instead of it feeling too stiff. But if you are a person that likes like a very modern interior, then you might consider either foregoing the throw or put it in there because it does help relax some of those structured lines you have throughout. All right, so I've taken you through step by step and shared the why behind each layer so that you can go and have the confidence to make your own bed, styling look beautiful, and fit your personal aesthetic. So take back some of the layers, maybe add more. It's totally up to you, but I think that this gives you a really solid foundation to build from. This is so fun to do these educational videos, and I wanna hear from you 
what you want to see from me. So don't forget to leave a comment and we will be creating more.